Are you looking for a safe, natural way to exfoliate dry facial skin or chapped lips? Well, keep watching. I'm going to show you how to make a sugar scrub that you can use on your face and your lips with a few ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. Today, we're going to make a face and lip sugar scrub. Let's take a look at the ingredients and then we can get started. You're going to need to brew a pretty strong cup of green tea. Two tea bags to two to four ounces of boiling water should make it strong enough. You want a half a cup of regular sugar, organic if possible. Organic is best because sugar cane is sprayed quite a bit with pesticides and you really don't want to put that on your skin. Okay, so my green tea has now cooled completely and I strained the tea bags from the water. We're going to go ahead and mix the ingredients now and then we'll talk a little bit about why we chose green tea for this recipe. So far I've added my organic sugar to the bowl and I'm going to start to add the green tea very little at a time. My goal is not to completely dissolve the sugar but instead to make it a consistency that's sort of like a wet sand like feeling. So just by adding very little green tea at a time, you ensure that you don't completely melt the sugar or dissolve the sugar. Otherwise, this recipe is uh, useless. You need the sugar granules to work its magic on your face or on your lips, depending on what you're using it for. And it's important to stir it up probably even a little longer than you think you need to because, as you can see, the more I stir, the more sugar is dissolving. And you really want to get to a place where you know exactly how much sugar is going to dissolve and how much will remain intact. I can see at this point I'm going to need to add more sugar. This is one of those recipes where you just need to eyeball it. You're going to scoop your sugar scrub out of the jar pretty much with a finger. So you want it to be a consistency where it's not going to completely drop off of your finger when you pull it out of the jar. So I've added a little more sugar here to stir it up. And it's already looking a little better. It's looking a little thicker. Since we've already stirred it for a while, and we've gotten to see exactly how much of the sugar is going to dissolve. Once I added the other batch of sugar, I already knew the consistency that I was seeing is what I was going to end up with. So, time to put it in the jar. Okay, while I'm adding this to the jar, let's talk about the benefits of the sugar and the green tea. The sugar, which is obviously a mild abrasive, it exfoliates dead skin and it helps to regenerate new cells. It also has glycolic acid, which is a natural but very mild chemical exfoliant as well. So the exfoliant benefits are twofold. In addition to that, you have green tea, which is high in antioxidants. Antioxidants, as it applies to our skin, helps to stop or slow the aging process. So the combination of these ingredients and the benefits Synergistically, they're working in tandem with one another to give you the best, most radiant, glowing, beautiful skin ever. Okay, let's talk about how to use your sugar scrub. With your hands clean and your face dry, you want to scoop out enough to massage all over your face or a little less if you're only doing a, a lip scrub. You want to gently massage the scrub into your skin with very little pressure. The sugar crystals do all the work for you. Avoid your eye area. The skin is very sensitive there. After you're done, rinse your face with warm water or your lips until you don't feel any sugar crystals left. After that, you can wash, tone, and moisturize your face as you normally would. What you will notice, even after the first time you use the sugar scrub, is your face 
will have a beautiful glow, dry patches will start to disappear, and overall your skin will just look younger. Wait, don't throw away any green tea you may have left over. If you keep it in the refrigerator, you can use it for a little while as a toner. Just apply it with a cotton ball. If you want your toner to have more astringent properties, meaning skin tightening, pore tightening properties, add a little witch hazel. Before we say goodbye, let's take one last look at our sugar scrub. Pretty easy, right? I hope you'll share this recipe with your friends and family. We could all use more recipes and ideas, beauty tips that come from nature, and better yet, with ingredients we already have in our kitchen. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy.